Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Haven't made a video in a few weeks, but yeah, back. And yeah, what I'm going to do in this video is show you five, maybe yeah, four or five blender tips or tricks, quick tips that you might not know about. I thought I'd combine a few tricks in one video because otherwise it's going to be a bit short if I do one per tip or trick. So let's get into it. Hopefully you enjoy the video. First one, it's pretty cool. So shift A, if I get a mesh, let's say I get a monkey in object then let's say you're going to light the scene you're going to put on put in lights so shift a light area light and then if i'm going to go here g bring it up and then let's say i want to move it so z click on it g bring it there and now shift d duplicate it but now let's say you want to move it so you want to move both at the same time or you do so what you can do is then just click on the one hold down shift to select both and push shift t and now when you move them they both move at the same time okay so you can then lock it onto the object instead of doing one at a time and this will help you a lot obviously it works for three so let us boom boom just go shift a boom light area boom shift d make three same thing boom hold down shift select all three hit shift t and now all of them move at the same time okay okay that's tip number one let's delete this stuff okay so next one you want to put two colors on one geometry so let's say you've got like a square a cube uh, shift a mesh cube let's just do this so we can see what we're doing boom boom okay now let's say you want to put a color on there color on there and a different one on each like you don't want to make it one color it's really easy okay and then what you want to do is go down here to material and hit plus plus we got two materials and hit new and then what you can do is let's go to shading and then change this base color let's make it like a red let's go here boom 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 and then go here boom select the other one boom new make this one blue okay so we've got red and blue then what you want to do is zoom in and then hit tab to go to edit mode and then what you can do is click here so click on there boom so select this click on this material assign and then you can do the same there boom click on this one assign and then you can make the bottom one whatever you want so you can see that's how you do it and it's that easy so then you go out of edit mode and now go to layout and you can see those faces are red and other ones are blue and there we go that's pretty easy it can come in handy so you know like you want one color on the cube you want two different colors it's that easy okay next one what i'm going to do is go shift a mesh let's get a cylinder go out of here go to x and then let's just scale this a little bit so like that okay and then go shift now what you want to do is if you want to carve out let's say you want to take out like that little piece so like this piece here when you do this we can do it without having to it's actually pretty easy you just go here to edit preferences go to there and type in carver and enable the carver add-on okay so just check it make sure it's checked boom save preferences and now let's go like this and then to use it what you want to do is press ctrl shift x okay and then this comes up and this is basically the carve add-on and then what you can do is if you want to change this you can just use the space bar and then just go like this so click drag your mouse and then there we go then go to x so we can do it again Sh Control shift x then just drag it like this boom cuts it out boom cuts it out like that and it's that easy i mean you can use this one so this one is circle so there boom and it cuts a circle and object so click drag boom and then rectangle line line you just click there 
drag it across, click it again, click it again, and then it cuts it in the object. And it's really that easy. And if you want to go out of it, just hit escape, boom, and there we go. So that's number three, cool, easy way to carve things in your object. Name is self-explanatory, it's called Carver, but it's a free add-on and it's pretty cool. Okay, now, let's delete this. Now, if you want to add an arch in Blender, it's actually really easy. Just go Shift A, get a cube. So Shift A, search for Mesh, Cube. Then go here, X, click on this so we can scale it. Like this, bring this up, it's like that. And what you can do is you can go to Z, make it like a square. Okay, then what you want to do is click on this one, go Shift D to duplicate it, and just bring it like that, away from each other. Then what you want to do is select both, so click on this, hold down Shift, and hit Control J. Now what you want to do is press Tab, go into Edit Mode, click here. So what you want to do is click on this one, hold down Shift to select both. Now right click and select Bridge Faces, and that looks a little bit funny. Now what you want to do is change this, so click on here. Now you can change it to like 18, 15, and then just bring the smoothness down. And there we go. And so you can click there, hit Tab, and now you've got an arch. Okay, and then tip number five, what we can do is, let's say you want to join two objects like a pop, you know, like a, a, the joints of a pop. So Shift A, Mesh, let's get a, another cylinder. And then what we can do is go to Y, go Shift D to duplicate it, bring this up, and then rotate it like this. Or you can go yeah, just make sure this is 90. And then G, bring it there. And then let's say we want to join these two. So let's just bring it here, G, something like that. So first thing you want to do is select both objects. So do that. Control J to join them. Then what you want to do is go to Tab. So then what you want to do is hold down Shift Alt Click, and then to select both of the edges, well, both of the faces basically. Then what you want to do is click right click Bridge Edge Loops, and we've already joined it. But you can always, you can see it's been joined. But if you want to like make it round, like curved, we can also do that here, and then you can adjust the cuts. So you can see, and then smoothness, you can create the bend. So you can see, if you want it like that, you want it like that. So you find something that you like. You can bring the cuts down, something like that. 10 is pretty good. And then just play with your smoothness. And then you can play with the profile factor. It just makes it bigger. But if you want something that's nice and linear, well, not linear, but like nice and smooth. Just keep it like that. You can change the profile shape so like that, and that will change this. So you can get something like that. That looks pretty cool. You hit tab, and there we go. So you can create some cool looking things with this method technique. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the Patreon, link in the description. Check out Blender Kits, and yeah, also link in the description. Appreciate this point of channel. See you in the next video. Peace.